So I think when it comes to media and technology and conflict and peace building, the really big story of 2012 is not one that got a whole lot of headlines. I actually think that while people were debating the role of social media in big events like the Arab Spring, there has been kind of a quiet revolution going on where local communities around the world have been figuring out how they can use this nexus between social media and mobile phone technology in very creative ways to do everything from reducing the level of violence that we've seen, for example, in the favelas in Brazil, very successful efforts there, or to monitor elections for both voter fraud, for violence breaking out so action can be taken quickly. There were a couple of elections across the continent of Africa that were very, very interesting when it comes to social media and community activism. There's been a use of these uh, technologies in constitution writing. Some successful, some not so successful. Egypt, they tried to apply sort of social media to um, uh, garner more um, input from local populations in the constitution writing process. Not very successful, but we also saw it used in Morocco. We saw it used in Iceland with a little bit more success. And it can continue. It's going to continue to um, only improve as time goes on. So lots of interesting work at a very local community level. And USIP, by the way, has been part of this. We have our grants program in community uh, communications for peace building actually uh, is seeding this territory of community activism and peace building by providing some grants to local organizations in, in Kenya, in Nigeria, and elsewhere doing interesting things. So that's the big story of 2012. In 2013, I think we're going to see a lot more now on the sensing front and the use of big data to sense emerging conflict. Um, there were some very interesting academic studies that came out last year, and now I think we're going to start seeing that applied in, uh, in the years ahead.